Hey y'all, it's Megan again here on the Lawson Farm. Um, so I know a lot of my videos have been about bread making. Uh, so I was trying to step away from that a little bit and do some different things. But here we are, March 15th, coronavirus outbreak. If you want to call it an outbreak, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to get on that, uh, but I do know that I went by the grocery store yesterday um, to pick up just a jug of orange juice and, you know, mass panic. No buggies, no meats, no breads, no thing, you know, no eggs, no cheese. There was just shelves, empty shelves everywhere. So, I'm going to show y'all today because, you know, who don't like a good sandwich? I'm going to show y'all today how to make just plain old regular white loaf bread, sandwich bread. Um, because you can't find it in the store right now. <laughs> and it is made out of ingredients that you probably already have. Um, you know, and usually there is not a shortage of flour and yeast and things like that because people don't think to make their own um, or they think they can't do it. So today I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mix our dry ingredients together. So what we're gonna need, uh, first we're gonna need three cups of all-purpose flour. Uh, it doesn't really matter what kind, but I do prefer the white lily. That's just a personal preference of mine. So we're gonna go ahead and start putting this in the bowl. And I'm using a half a cup measure, so it's gonna look like I'm putting more you know, if you're counting the cups that I'm putting in. Okay. Alright, so there's my three cups of that. We're going to need a tablespoon and a half of sugar. We're going to pour that in. We're going to need one teaspoon of salt. And guys, I'm going to put this recipe on the website as well, and I'll put a link under this video whenever I get it out on the website. Okay? And then we're going to need two and a fourth teaspoons of active dry yeast, or one packet. Uh, that equals one packet, but I buy it this way. Um, it just lasts a little longer. And it's more economical for me to do it this way because I do make a lot of bread. So... And a fourth. All right, so that is our dry ingredients. We grab this. So we're just gonna get this all combined here. And now you can actually, if you wanna make more than one loaf of bread, you can double the recipe. Um, I just don't need that much, so I'm just gonna make one loaf today. Alright, so got all my dry ingredients mixed up. Now for the wet ingredients. So we're going to need three-fourths of a cup of just plain water. One tablespoon of butter, which if you have stick butter, you know it's on the little packaging. You know how much a tablespoon is. We're going to just mix that in there. And then we're going to need a fourth of a cup of milk. What we're going to do is we're going to put that in the microwave for about 15-20 seconds, just enough to melt the butter and to make this warm to touch. You don't want it so hot that you can't touch it, but it will make it warm to touch. Alright, so I just got this out of the microwave. It actually took it right at about 30 seconds. I think it's because I had the um, stick butter, which is a little harder, um, but it's good and warm. It's not hot, and that's what we want to activate our yeast. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this into our dry mixture. We're going to pour it all in, and we're just going to start mixing. We're going to mix it very gently, like this, and we want it to mix until we have a, a ball of dough, once all that gets mixed together. So I have me a nice round uh, dough ball. So now we're going to spread us some flour out on the surface. I'm just going to use my countertop. Um, that's what I normally do. So I'm just going to put me a little thin layer of flour out there. 
and we are going to knead this for uh, eight to ten minutes until you can take two fingers and mash that dough and it fills that back in, it bounces back. That's when you know you're ready to start the rising process. All right, so I'm gonna dump this out. I do know if you're using something other than plain uh, all-purpose flour, like whole wheat flour, it does change the ratios a little bit, um, you know, with the ingredients that we put in here. All right, so make sure you got plenty of flour on your hands. What you're gonna do, you should say so you've got your dough ball, you're gonna take the heel of your hand, you're gonna push it down, then you're gonna fold it back over itself, like that, then you're going to push it down again. And this is what we're going to do for eight minutes to activate that gluten. So we've needed about eight minutes, roughly and our bread is ready uh, to let it rise for a little bit. I'm gonna show you how I know that. All right, let me make sure y'all can see this. So it's filling back in. See that? See how it bounces back real quick? Probably hard to see on a camera, but y'all get the gist. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to let this, I'm going to put a little bit more flour here and I'm going to let this sit here for 10 minutes. I'm going to cover it with a little towel um, and we're going to let it rise just, like I said, about 10 minutes, okay? So I've actually let this rest about 15 minutes uh, instead of 10. I had some things to do in between. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to spray our loaf pan, okay? with Pam or whatever you've got, non-stick spray. All right. Then we're gonna uncover it. Look at that pretty dough ball. And we're gonna make this into a rectangle, okay? I'm gonna kind of flatten this out into a rectangle. You can use your hands or you can use a rolling pin. I just assume use my hands. So we've got that kind of flattened out. Now we're going to roll it up into a log. Like this. Alright. So we're going to take our ends. See our ends here? We're going to pinch that together. And we're going to fold that underneath. On both sides, okay? So we're going to kind of fold that underneath and pinch that under there. All right. See there? So we have folded and pinched that underneath. And we want to pinch actually this whole seam under here because mine's wanting to come apart. So just go through and any seams that you've got underneath, Mama, pinch those Mama, together. Mama, All right, baby. I'm coming. This is why we do these things, right? Mama. For our children. Mama. See this little one here? <laughs> All right. So Mama. what we're going to do now is we're going to put this in our greased loaf pan. We're going to sit this in a warm spot for about 45 minutes. Let that rise and double in size. So our bread has doubled in size. See there? All right. So now we're ready to bake it in the oven. So we're gonna put it in a 400 degree oven for 20 to 30 minutes, keeping an eye on it, um, but cooking it till it's golden brown. So my bread cooked for right at about 25 minutes. Uh, 20 minutes wasn't quite long enough. It wasn't quite brown enough. Um, so at 25, that was just about right on 400 degrees. So I'm gonna show y'all what this looks like. It's a nice golden brown. See there? See how pretty that is? So what we'll do now to get this out, we're just gonna run the edges with a knife 
and I'm gonna flip it out here. This is actually um, like a pot holder. I can't remember the technical name for them. Uh, but that's just to kind of let some air flow underneath of it to let it cool. Now you can store this just like um, regular loaf bread in a plastic bag or you can put it in a freezer bag and store it in the freezer uh, if you want. That it keeps good either way just like loaf bread. Just making sure I ain't tearing up my bread y'all. Okay. So we'll want to flip this out to cool. there you have it. So making your very own white loaf bread. Uh, it's cost effective. A bag of flour will cost you, depending on how big you get, two or three dollars. A little thing of yeast will cost you a dollar or two, you know, for a packet. So it is cost effective um, as well as in a situation like now, if you can't find bread in the grocery store, you can make your own. It's so simple. It took me all together an mm, hour and a half something like that but that was uh, counting the cook time rise time and everything and I was doing things in between so it's not like you're busy that entire hour and a half so super easy let me know in the comments if you do make your own loaf bread or um, if you tried the recipe I would love to hear how it turned out uh, good luck to everybody and also uh, thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video um, if you enjoy this kind of content um, I do a lot of southern Appalachia cooking things like that. You're ready to get started on the garden soon. Uh, and I'll be putting a lot of stuff uh, on here about what we're doing with the garden and my canning and all of that. So I'm excited for the next step of this process. I'm up to 133 subscribers. I'm so excited about that. Um, when I get up to 200, I want to try to do a YouTube live chat. I have never done one before, so I do want to try that. But if you have not subscribed to the channel already, uh, if you consider subscribing, I'd greatly appreciate it. And again, like I said, um, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments and remember to like the video. I hope y'all have a great day. I'll see y'all next time.